Hey guys, it's Jmall from Jmall Pickup. Today I want to talk about how to stop a girl that's moving during the daytime. Okay, so say you see a pretty girl and attractive girl out on the street, and you want to stop and talk to her, right? But say she's walking, right? So what they refer to in the game and pickup world is this is a moving set. Okay, a moving woman, right? She's on her way to go somewhere. She's on her way home from somewhere, right? She happens to be walking. So what a lot of guys do, and this is not the right way to do it, is they will come up kind of behind the girl and like tap her on the shoulder. They'll like come up, you know, from a diagonal angle. They'll start walking to the side and like tap her from the side. Um, a lot of these behaviors, um, or they'll even like do something worse where they'll tap her on the back and she kind of like is like, what the fuck? And then they'll like tap her again, right? And they'll keep like following her. And you, you can see guys doing this like... <laughs> If you ever go to like the, the pickup talks in New York City by other companies, they kind of release uh, an army out on the streets <laughs> after the talks and you just have a whole bunch of dudes approaching women on the streets of New York. But what you see is this phenomenon, I don't know if I would call it a phenomenon, but a situation where you have a guy go up and he's like tapping, like tapping, or he goes on the side tapping and the girl's like, what? And of course she's like kind of weirded out because there's like some strange man tapping or even worse <clears throat> he runs up <laughs> behind her like a lot of times you see a, a hot girl walking off the distance he runs up kind of behind her and like startles her because she hears like these like pounding footsteps and he's like hey and he's like out of breath and shit and she's like what what like what's going on like she thinks there's like some kind of uh emergency <laughs> or urgent matter at hand uh when indeed he is just being awkward so Rather than doing that, um, what I always advocate is that you want to, so say, say you see the girl walking up ahead, you kind of either want to jog or, or walk up in front of her, or you know if you can do it from a roundabout way on the other side of the street, you want to get in front of where she is walking and then turn towards her and walk at her head on, right? So it's like as if you were passing, um, just through normal foot traffic, right? So like she's coming this way, you're walking this way and you're passing each other. And then what you're gonna wanna do is stop in front of her, right? And you wanna just be like, so say, let's pretend right now she's not on headphones because a lot of times they're gonna be with having headphones on, right? Or be on the phone or some other shit. So say she's no headphones, um, just one girl by herself and she's not on the phone, okay? So <clears throat> what you're gonna do is be like, hey, I wanted to meet you really quick. What's your name? Like, that's my opener. I always say, hey, what's up? I wanted to meet you real quick. Hey, can I meet you really fast? Hey, I wanted to meet you. You know, there's like slight variations. But I'm going to be locking eyes with her. And I'm not going to get all the details of opening. I'll do that in another video. And basically, I'm going to be saying my opener with eye contact, holding out my hand. I wanted to meet you really fast, right? And a lot of times what she will try to do is, well, not a lot of times, but sometimes, She's going to try to immediately sidestep you, okay? Because you're a random stranger. Most random strangers aren't talking to other random strangers during the day. So her first instinct is just going to be to dismiss you completely. And she's going to kind of try to like shirk you with her body language, right? Now, this doesn't mean you need to be all weird and be like, ha ha, like, <laughs> you know, like jump in front of her, or like try to stop her with your hand or something like that. What I do is... I just very casually and naturally take like a diagonal step backwards. What do I mean by diagonal? Say, you know, she's coming this way, I'm coming this way. Now, she's going to like, I'm, I'm stopping someone in front of her. She's going to step to either side of me, right? Probably the side that's further away from my body, right? So she makes that step away. And it's not going to be like some big leap. She's just going to make a, a slight adjustment in her navigation as she's walking right and what you're going to do is you're going to take a slight backward step back right diagonal and you're just gonna be like hey let me just talk to you for one second one second or two seconds whatever the idea is kind of just be like two seconds two seconds but you're like smiling you're not making it fucking awkward right so when you say one second one second two seconds two seconds what that does is it kind of like you know alerts her brain like it's like a pattern interrupt, right? You're like, boom, hey, two seconds, two seconds, right? And 
you have in, in her mind it's like a low commitment it's like a low uh, point of investment she's like oh two seconds like a, I, I wonder what he has to say right and then you're gonna deliver your opener and then you're just gonna jump right in the conversation oh I just wanted to stop you for a second I liked such and such about her outfit right oh I just want to stop you for a second because I just moved here and I wanted to meet you I thought you were cool or whatever I liked your height or whatever it is right you're giving some kind of reason why you're talking to her and if she's like looking at you like you know kind of awkward or whatever you're like I know it's really random to talk to stop to stop a stranger and talk to her or whatever like sorry I didn't mean to like fucking like say, say she's like startled right because you're a stranger talking to her say she's like oh you're like oh sorry I didn't mean to start you I, I'm like brand new to the city I just want to meet you what's your name and you can even go I don't usually encourage this but you can even go like the indirect opener route Oh, hey, uh, two seconds. She's like, oh, I just wanted to know, like, um, what good clubs there are this week. Like, I just moved here. I just wanted to know, like, what good clubs there are. Oh, you could try, blah, blah, blah. Oh, cool, thanks. What's your name? What do you do for work? I just moved here. You know, so you can, take, you can switch it back to direct if you're more comfortable with opening direct in the daytime. But I just wanted to point this out because a really big mistake a lot of guys make is they're coming up from behind doing these taps. Like, imagine if, like, you were walking along um, – in public on the street, right? And it's even scarier for a female because, you know, males are more um, physically larger and, you know, more dominant and all that stuff. Just imagine as a man, you're walking along and someone like kind of like grabs your shoulder. You're going to be like, holy shit, right? Like, is someone going to try to rob me or what, what's going on? Or you're just kind of like in the zone, like thinking in your thoughts and someone comes up alongside and is like tapping your arm. You're like, what the fuck? Right? So that this kind of shit is like too alarming and it's going to kind of like, put her on it on edge and it's not it's not like that stuff doesn't work ever but it's not like a it's not a high probability move so what's much stronger is you want to go up around to the front and come at her straight on hey what's up i just want to meet real quick if there's that slight sidestep which she's only mostly doing because she's not invested in the conversation at all like it's the very beginning she has no idea who you are she's just kind of like reacting like oh my god what's like what is this i'm just gonna walk and if you do you're like two seconds two seconds and you kind of get back in front of her again not in a not in a jerky way not in an awkward way not in an aggressive way you're just kind of like taking a quick step back and you're like oh hey i just want to be really fast and lots of times she will stop there um, if she doesn't stop you can be like can i just talk to you for one second right and if she still doesn't stop don't bother like you don't need to chase after her you see these guys doing pickup and game that will chase after them for blocks and keep trying to you know cycle different openers it's done at that point don't try that um, it's not really it's not really a big deal to talk to someone during the day um, just make sure you're doing it from the right approach coming straight up um, one real quick exception I will end with is that if the woman is like coming up to an intersection so say like you're on the streets of New York a girl is like five or ten feet ahead of you you're walking from behind and you see that she's like coming up on an intersection where she's going to have to stop because cars are coming or some other reason where she's going to have to stop walking. In that case, you would walk up alongside and you would approach from the side because she's stopped, right? It's not some alarming thing where you're like, hey, hey, like coming from the side while she's walking. You just come on the side. Oh, hey, what's up? I just moved here, right? And you're opening like that. All right, but in general, if she's moving, you're going to want to come from the front and get her to stop because another problem that a lot of guys have and a lot of mistakes they make um, involves like walking alongside the girl. I think this is like not a very strong move. It's much better to get her to stop and commit and invest to in the interaction. A lot of times guys will come alongside and be like, hey, hey, and she's like still walking. They're like, so like this and this. And the girl's like, oh, okay. And she's like, you know, you're kind of like um, at a disadvantage. It's the same thing as when you talk to a girl that's sitting down. Like you want to sit with her. You don't want to just be this dude that's like standing up above her, like leaning down at her table and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it. Um, hope that was helpful. So remember that next time you're out on the street. Um, as a last resort, open from the side of your back. Only if you can't get up ahead of her. But almost every time you should be able to get up ahead of her. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next video.